Hello? Hello? Yes, um, you were interested in a house I have for sale in 123 Main Street, is, is that right? Yes, yes. Um, do, you, do you have a minute or two? Okay. Well, um, do you have any questions, maybe? Okay. Yes, yes, the seller is asking 250k and it's 2,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when would you like to schedule a showing, maybe this weekend? Okay. What? Oh, you want me to talk to your mother? Okay. Okay, okay. I, I'm waiting. Okay. Hello. Yes, you, you're, you're the mother. And uh, yes, do, do you want to... Oh, Spanish. Okay. Bueno, uh, si el propietario quiere 250 mil dólares y um, son 2,000 uh, square feet. Ahora, I just uh, told her about the same information I just told Maria. Yes. Sí, sí. Y, y bueno, ¿quiere ver la casa este fin de semana? Sí, claro, claro, entiendo. Bueno, ok. Well, now she wants me to talk again to her daughter. So, yes, yes, your mother seems to be interested too. Well, this was my fake call with the fake Hispanic Maria. And, um, well, this situation might be a bit exaggerated, but this, this language mix might happen when you deal with the Hispanic demographic in real estate. And in this video, I, you will learn what a real estate agent should know about the Hispanic real estate market and the Hispanic demographic. Let's talk about some stats about the Hispanic real estate market. Some predict that by 2030, Hispanics will have 56% share of all new home buyers will have a 56% share of, of all new home buyers. For example, between 2010 and 2019, the US population increased by 18.9 million. The Hispanic share of this was 52%. And 32.4% of US household formations come from the Hispanic population. 20% of millennials, of the millennial population, consists of Hispanics and most Hispanics, 55%, live in California, Texas or Florida and Florida. So there are several reasons why you might want to consider market, marketing to the Hispanic population, to the Hispanic real estate market or at least take this real estate niche into consideration. There is a steady increase in the Hispanic population there's an increase in, his, in the Hispanic household income and there are potential further increases of household income and population and thus housing demand in the future. In contrast to non-Hispanics, there is a higher use of smartphones and tablets and that's why also more content is consumed on, on those devices. As you may know, there is a general rise for video consumption overall, but this consumption is even much higher in the his Hispanic population. It's 85 minutes versus 80 minutes. 77% of Hispanics use Facebook, 75% YouTube and 55% Instagram. Hispanics in the two age groups of 18 to 34 and 35 plus prefer to spend more time watching TV then engaging with other media. That's also an interesting point. And Hispanic millennials consume television 18 hours and 28 minutes a week. And the 35 plus age group spends 33 hours a week. Properties that were mostly purchased in 2018 had a median property value of, of $225,000 and has Hispanic home buyers make lower down payments that's data from 2018. Hispanic home buyers were also the youngest in the year 2018 and more than half 69.2% were 44 years or younger. 
the median age was 40. 40. So this is all information you could use for a mar marketing plan or strategy and I will give it to you exactly now. This will also recap my video a bit. So there's more information and statistics also in my article about the, uh, the Hispanic real estate demographic. You just, just head over to hackingrealestatemarketing.com. There you will find it. And so let's get to the information you could use in a real estate marketing plan or in your real estate marketing strategy to mar market to the Hispanic demographic. This is especially true if you want to market on, uh, if you want to target this group with Facebook ads because Facebook has one of the best targeting options. So for what you want to consider is the age, the age range should be 40 plus. The geographic targeting should be Florida, California or and or Texas. The geographic targeting of growth areas, this is not something I mentioned here in this video, but in my article, there are, there are specific growth areas for the Hispanic population, which is Utah, Oregon, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Washington, Kansas, Idaho, Massachusetts, Hawaii, Nebraska, and Oklahoma. The devices should be smartphone and video. The devices should the devices you want to focus on are smartphones and tablets. The content type should be online video. In terms of online marketing channels, you want to use YouTube, Facebook or Instagram. If you want to go the offline marketing route or use offline marketing channels, then you could use TV. There are also different local TV stations in the United States where, where they are even speaking Spanish. And the main language of your ad copy or your landing pages, this should be mostly mostly be English, but some Spanglish might help to increase the rel relevance of your advertising. Housing prices, so in terms of what you want to offer them, the housing prices should be in the range of $225,000. And when it comes to property financing and loans, so, you need to consider that most of the time the down payments are lower in the range of 2.5%. But as an additional option, you might also offer rent to own options, which is very beneficial if, if someone doesn't have the whole down payment. So they can save for the down payment for several years and then make the down payment while they are renting out, but it's a rent to own option and so on. That's, that's a completely other video. This is more like cre creative real estate investing or creative real estate. So the profession, most of the, 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 the majority of the professions in the Hispanic group that buy houses are self-employed and the median household income is $68,000. You can also target this kind of income on Facebook with the Facebook ads this is only limited, this is just limited to the United States and other countries, this is quite difficult. So that's it about the real estate market, the, the Hispanic real estate market, market, the demographic. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I have a new video out and see you next time. Bye bye.